How about this one? Korea has shattered its own record for world's lowest fertility rate. Shattered? South Korea's fertility rate slid further to 0.81 last year. And the UN sees Korea's population halv- halving. Halving? <laughs> <laughs> Having by the yeah. end of this century. Go ahead, Will. You want to take a crack at that? It's funny when you when you see a word that you say, you could say easily having, but also the problem is without the L, it sounds like having. Yeah. Having. Yeah. Halving. It's like multiple meanings. But it's not halving. With the same pronunciation. Because you got to go to the V, so then you're halving. Yeah. It's all screwed up. Korean women were estimated based on 2021 data to have an average of just 0.81 children over their lifetimes, down from 0.84 a year earlier. The statistics office said Wednesday, the number of newborns declined last year to 260,000, which equates to about 0.5% of the population. Korea is the world's fastest aging nation among economies with a per capita GDP of at least 30,000, according to the United Nations global population projections and World Bank data by 2100. So, yeah. What are we, 2022? Mm. In about 80 years, its population is going to fall 53%. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. Um, Which is up from a forecast of a 43% decline, which was made in only 2019. So it goes wow. to show you the pace of it, that that estimate a year from now or two years from now could go even further to like 60% decline. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about this on the show before. I find this stuff to be fascinating because of how markets work and how the workforce and economies predicated on growth and investments and real estate. And you have the an infrastructure that's set up to support a particular population. And then it gets uh, sliced in half. And all of a sudden... Who, how do you assume, and it doesn't get sliced in half immediately. First, everybody gets really old. And I mean everybody. Yep. And the, the ratio of really old people to really young people becomes enormous. And obviously automation is not there yet. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you're talking about robots and yeah, stuff? Yeah, robots, AI. They're trying, they're trying, but yeah, it's the pace of it is the thing. Um, And then you still have a shrinking workforce, regardless if you have robots taking care of people. A shrinking workforce is a major factor in the decline of Korea's potential growth rate. The working age population peaked at 37.3 million in 2020, and it just continues to fall. Well, we're we're in there too. Canada? Yeah, we're pretty low as well. 1.5, yeah. Um... Uh, They're inviting more women, elderly people, and foreigners into the workforce. That's another goal. The number of women of childbearing age fell 2%. And a typical Korean woman gave birth to her first child at age 32.6, which is up from 30.2 a decade earlier. Mm. Her partner, on average, would be 35.1 compared to 33 years old a decade earlier. And Seoul, the big city in Korea, uh, the fertility rate was the lowest at 0.63. So these are the type of numbers where you can rapidly deplete a population. Um, Korea also did have the one-child policy for a short period of time. Okay. And then they quickly scrapped it when they realized, uh uh-oh, this could be an issue. Then they tried to incentivize the having of children. Not the halving, but the having of children to try to uh, obviously increase the workforce and economic growth and and so on. I think the alarming thing here is the rate. Like in 2015, it was still 1.2. Mm. In, in 2012, it was 1.3. It actually uh, stayed at 1.2 through 2013, 14, and 15. But it was all the way down to 1 by 2018, and now it's 0. 0.8 in 2021. And some people see it as a precursor for, like, a lot of places, a lot of developed regions. And there's all kinds of people with all sorts of ideas as to how this happens. And you'll have the people on one side that say, great, the uh, world is overpopulated, leave me alone. And then you'll have other people that are saying, like Elon, for example, um, 
bad news. He'll be saying bad news. Yeah. Uh, you and I have talked about this extensively, how interesting it is, because you start to think about some of the biggest investments you make in your life, like housing and um, some of the jobs that people hold and the uh, still the significance of the workforce and the, the fact that um, how, just how many things in our society are, require growth to take place in order. And this is why you have immigration in certain places. I, I just, what is your, what is your house going to be worth when there's nobody there to buy it? When you have, when your supply and your demand is so, so screwed up and skewed. And when the workforce has a uh, tremendous responsibility to the elderly, when the people that are even the age of the workforce have uh, such a um, discrepancy in their population versus those that are going to need care and so forth, right. and that tends to be expensive. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of effects that come that that come from this, and it's kind of at least in our modern society, it's an experiment uh, at at this scale that we haven't we haven't really seen the results. We're not really certain. You know, when you mention like residents, <laughs> um, people living in homes right now, I mean, when they have a family, it's usually a bigger home. Um, I am kind of scared that if people leading single lives will be just living in a condo up in the sky. Right. And it's just going to be boxes of condos. And that's all that's the society is it's just condos you, you there's no big homes anymore there's no giant like swaths of land well or you can get one for cheap yeah because no one wanted Everyone's it one's just living in a box in the sky well it got dark <laughs> well definitely there's a lot but of people it's it's unfortunate there's definitely a lot of people doing that and um I, I don't know i find the topic to be quite interesting i understand that the, the world is a much different place people uh things are very expensive and I, I know people this is a, a very complicated topic but it's just amazing to me the speed at which things can change yes yeah. the speed is so interesting to me i mean i was talking about 2012 or 2015 and having such a significant decline but you don't even want to start looking at 1950 60. sure yeah it's yeah. crazy how rapidly the world was growing and it's interesting how even with incentives even where countries are attempting to incentivize they can't change the social um agendas they can't influence it in any real meaningful way at least not in in some of the data we're seeing out of some places it, yeah. it hasn't it doesn't work whatsoever yeah do you think that they're gonna like impose a law like if they impose like a one child you, law, you can't, you can't do it. You can can't. they do the opposite? No, <laughs> you know, have more babies. You can't do. It. I mean, that's a ter that's a terrifying environment. Or at least like, what kind of ways are they able to? They're incentivizing promote? with legit incentivizing with money. Yeah, there there's an allowance. They're paying people to stay home and do that in certain regions, and mm -hmm. it's not having any kind of meaningful impact. Right. It's uh. It'll be an interesting next hundred years, yeah. to say the least, mm -hmm. and uh, see how some things play out here. I don't know. It could can can it, it could bounce back. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Nothing. Okay, so nothing wrong with like living in a condo or anything. I just oh yeah yeah. You went hard on the condo front, but it's just you know <laughs> the idea of. Man, not having like a residential home. No, no, no. I, you know, I, I understand. What, I, like, I know what you're you saying. Know. I know what you're saying. Well, yeah, I, 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 I feel you're talking about having like a progression, like that you, you know, uh, it, it's not crazy what you're saying. Pe people aspired to having families in the past. It's not crazy yeah. what you're saying. Well, it's just you don't have to like, feel crazy about it. It okay, doesn't have good. to be for everyone, but you can. You it is cool and fine for you to say that you would aspire to having a family home and having a family that's cool man yeah i i just think of like the idea of like a like just so many like rows and rows of buildings that's just like you don't see 
any green or anything like that. It's just literally live up there and then that's it. And that's uh, yeah. You're talking about like some. That's a scary. You're talking about like, some Orwellian like future, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. but anyways, mm -hmm. you like grass. What I've <laughs> what I've come to conclude is you like grass, and so do I. And just land and living with people. But you also understand for some people that's that is not a reality. For some people, that is a very far off. A, no. uh, for you, right? That might be. A vision you can see the steps to get there sure right that might be that might work that way for you mm -hmm. but you can imagine we can picture this futuristic person we can picture this person with an abundance of responsibility to older generations that they want to take care of them and then mm -hmm. that extra effort may keep them out of um really having tremendous success in their own careers mm-hmm Right, because they're they they're busy with with trying to keep this whole thing together. Yeah, it's an abundance of responsibility, maybe too much, and then their own life and their own goals suffer because of it. Mm -hmm. You can envision this, and so that's the unfortunate part about having that demographic flip, is that somebody's going to bear the burden of it. Sure, and it's not going to be you, but it's somewhere in the future. Yes. It's somewhere in the future. And go I don't know, governments aren't really prepared for it. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're trying, even in Korea, they're trying to adjust their, po adjust their policy right now because they see that it's not, they're not capable yeah. of uh, managing that upside down demographic tri uh, pyramid. It's not much different in, in many other places. I find this topic to be fascinating. We can move on. I'm sure it won't be the last time that we talk about it. And I know you also do find it interesting. So Sure, yes.